with a doctor telling me I have 48 hours left for my half clock to go. And no hair, I had no teeth. Six and a half stone on the way up to About half my body weight. Half the man you see here today was here two years ago. I wouldn't be able to stand here because my pants would have fallen up. There would have been piss running down my legs. What's well, Sophie? You know what's Sophie, you know what I'm going to tell her. Cannabis oil. Cannabis plant, cannabis oil, cannabis teacher, cannabis medicine. Cannabis food. It is food. And you will be denied food. The best food on the planet. Because when you take this food, and there's nothing strange about it, there's no witty LSD stuff in it that makes you all go funny funny. This stuff makes you normal. This stuff makes you right. This fixes your body up. Look, my doctor tells me I'm a walking <coughs> miracle. And if any doctor sees my medical report, he looks and goes, because they can't work it out because it's not medicine that they understand because it's real medicine and unfortunately it seems to be that our medical industry has become corrupt by money right, can I ask you a question anybody in here had any terminal illness anybody here lost any family to cancer nobody one, two, three four, come on there's more, I know, which is one in two. I normally stand in the room and do this, and virtually every hand goes up in the room. So you must be lucky. Because in your country, obviously your cancer rates are very low. Because why? Because your agriculture is still going to be In my country, the food chain is totally destroyed. I can't find things to eat. They've poisoned it, they've pesticided it, they've GM'd it, and then you wonder why we've got cancers running at one in two. And if you do catch it, if you want to go up to that hospital, in my country, in most Western countries, the cure rate is 2.7. 2.7% chance. With all that money, all that machinery, all those years of experience, and they can only offer you 2.7% chance of a cure. There's people in this room, and I'm point about they might even put their hand up. I'm one of them. I may go on and give it away. I risked 14 years of my life in jail. I wouldn't survive six months, by the way, I don't mind. Because I'm not going to be a martyr. But I'm not hiding behind any closed doors any longer. Because anybody that needs this medicine is a plant medicine that grows everywhere around the planet. They deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. They give you heroin. They give you morphine. They give you amphetamines. They give you bloods of your mind off this planet. But they won't give you a plan. This is your future, Supernil. Take it. Well, I really do mean that. Because there's people there that have seen the devastation. They've seen what the drugs industry is doing to their populations. This plant, give it a chance. We all say it saved the planet. We don't know. But it's the only thing that is out there that has any possibility of doing something proper. And if you grab this, now if every one of you walks out of here and demands that you bring back your hand, there's people in this room, one that will help you, one that will advise you for free, because they will want to see your industry work. Because they will then see your economy work, they will see your health work, they will see your become independent, they will see the men of this country rise up again and become proper. Because at the moment we seem to be controlled constantly by a group of men. Although I don't get too political, but the head is political. And I'm very political about it because I shouldn't be here unless I take its medicine. So my life depends on it. So my life depends on you telling your governments that this plant is legal. Because it always was. It grew all around the planet for thousands of years, everywhere. Then all of a sudden, some Americans come along and say, we can't have it. But it makes sense to them. Makes sense to you. Makes sense to you. That makes sense to me. I've been doing it for 20 years. He's super clever. He's super clever. He's super clever. So it makes sense to them. Welcome to your hemp industry. So, right, the next part of it is. I'm quite good at answering questions or applying them into situations. 
So, here's your opportunity. Any questions? Nothing? London on barrels, selling stuff in the street, so I can shout out, I'm better than these. <laughs> Take chemo away, and you say, use your choice. I went down to the hospital, the only choice I got was chemo. Chemo or nothing. Why? Why can't I have it? Okay. It should be chemo. It costs them thousands. Do you know what? Some people, this is true, some people have worked out in the real world, when we can go and do stuff legally, about $200 US. But most probably give you a cure for most nasty, horrible, terminal diseases that we've got. Right. My friend, a little boy, who's four and a half years old, from Glenn Riddle, nine months of chemo and a four year old boy cost $1.3 million. They wanted to give him another four years of it. When she finally smuggled him out of the hospital on his bed, he had him for 16 days, four and a half year old boy, this is by the way, four and a half year old boy. And they carried the cannabis oil to him. Eight months later, Landon's at school, and he's healthy, he's got no cancer, his hair's grown back as a healthy little boy. That treatment cost, well, it cost them nothing because the standing drum was David Turner, but even a standing drum would have only charged him about 500 bucks. Not 1.3 million to kill a kid. <laughs> One point three. Chemo. Cannabis, as a cannabis industry, we can offer an effective treatment as one of the parts that we can offer because we can offer fuel, fuel, fibre in total abundance. But medicine, just compare that. Chemo, 1.3, then. $500, kids life. Your choice. What did you choose? What would you choose? I want to know. What would you choose as a mother? To break the law? Risk jail? Risk having your son taken away? Or staying in a hospital? Or was that little boy being held down for six male nurses while they injected him with radiation, chemo, and that would be? As a mother, what would you do? Hmm? And the video that we don't believe, by the way, I've got a video here, if you're going to watch it, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. I do wish uh, you asked me, Dave, uh, thank you for your question. I'm mother of two children, uh, but uh, it's hard, uh, it's hard decision. Uh, I do wish to take uh, an answer to you, uh, official well, what statement. Say, my friend Sierra but, but, had to make that decision. <coughs> she but, had to make it. Yes, yes. As I a know. mother, and I'm appealing yes. to the mothers in this room. A lot first, of first you say your children is, uh, is clean, it's clear, it's clear. And, and uh, I wish to uh, just tell you that uh, we fight for re re regulation of this, uh, any law, what, which one um, yeah. makes well, it any, to better. Me, for me, but, any law you know, on cannabis is a law on cannabis. You know, for me, it's not a, a decision broke a law, a change a law. Yeah. Thank you. But when, you're, when your child is at risk and there is no future, <laughs> then the, you, there, is, the, there is situations in the world now that are occurring, they're happening right now, we lost one last night actually. Go 
government of a certain country took the child into care for and that's how she's dead through lack of care, through, through lack of cannabis treatment. Yeah? Thank you, Mr. President, for already got us another child you killed. Yeah? You've got a lot of blood on his hands, the people. But I say, we have the, this is the situation that people, I am the same, I am not a kid, but I'm saying my country, I have to break the law to stay alive. I've got three choices with my government. I can leave my country and go to a can of safe country, which there are quite a few at the moment, and they're looking very promising. And I'll take all my 21 years of hemp knowledge with me, and I'll give it to the country I go to. And my own country, I will They can start from day one to learn how to work with this plant. I help the people of my country, or will not help the government. I can do that. And my, my family has actually lived in the UK, right, since before 1066. We're a Viking family. We came from Northland in about 1400s. Yeah? So possibly my family has fought every war for England that ever, England has ever fought. And England, you all know, has fought quite a few, right or wrong. Yeah? So my forefathers' blood is on that land. And they're telling me now to leave because they won't let me have a plant. The other choice I'm left with is just to lay down and die, basically. Yeah? Slowly, horribly. My body breaks down for about 10 days without this. Or I can go to jail. I'm a sick person. I'm 57 years old. I've worked all my life. I pay most of my taxes. Well, taxes I can get away with. <laughs> can I uh, ask you? I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, 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 what do you recommend it to your uh, to media? So you tell us you will talk the about media. The media. I like the media. Right. Anything anybody's doing. <laughs> how, how you how you see media in this? Uh, so, what they have to do? Right. Uh, As media, what we would offer you. You work in this. Yeah. Uh, Anybody that starts a hemp company, one of the major problems is advertising it, right? Because obviously the mainstream don't want it. Getting your target audience is very, very difficult. I would advise you, I have a hemp company, I'm going to be advertised on my own radio station. Time for Hemp is a very good medium for all of you. I'm personally interested in you. I'd like to get your personal stories about what you do and broadcast them on out. So I give you personal publicity in your own country and internationally about what you're doing. The Friar Briquette is a marvellous guy, yeah? Uh, the other guy that's making oils and cream and bacon, like that, marvellous. Yeah, you know, all of you just went and bought a loaf of bread off him a day. The man can get in the business. The same with other like, yeah, support him. Give him some money every week for his products. He don't even quite, don't have to like it if you answer it. Now. Just support him. Yeah? And then you get that money, and I'll tell you, you won't see him down the bowl, you won't see him in a fancy car. You see him up his house making another imp soap or an briquette or something. Yeah? That's all he takes in the hemp industry. Just buy some of the goods. Don't just look at them and go, oh, that's nice. Buy it, use it, tell you, buy it and give it away. Say, so, look, this is a really nice product. Here, I can take it, try it. Be introduced to him. Find him. Because when you find her, you most probably do what I do. You love her. And there's a lot of people in this room love her. He loves it, I know he does. He's been doing his job day in, day out, right, since day one. That man's history, he's hard to fight. But I've been watching him every day for at least the last 12 years. He gets out, I don't know, he must probably sleep about eight hours a day, six hours a day. The rest of his conscious day, I'm bearing in mind, he must bring all the money and the intelligence to do all sorts of things. I'll go fishing, enjoy himself. He gets up and he worries about your health. <laughs> Cheers. This guy has spent so long with governments around the world trying to tell them that the hemp is the best fiber on the planet. <sighs> and he's still doing it. Why? <laughs> Anyway, is there anything else? Media's good. We're the media. Keep in contact with us. We're help do it. Oh, I love him. I love seeing people introduced to him. It really is good. Don't be frightened about what the government's telling you. Don't be frightened of your neighbours, because they're all wrong. We're right. <laughs> yeah. Join up, link up, talk about it, have a conversation about it, write your government, write your papers. Stay on the street and tell people. Jack Hare used to do that. The man who wrote most probably the first book on him, uh, that's what he done. He got off it. All he does is get a, a paste up table and go in the street in America and say, Do you know who? Are you? Do you know about him? Oh, you love coming out. Oh, you yeah, coming. He was a terrorist. He was a head terrorist. And that's what he done until he died, basically. Every night of his life. And he died for He didn't mind. Jack didn't do anything for money. None of the hemp was ever said to be anything for money. Because as soon as you give them money, they don't do one thing. You know what they do with money in hamsters? They spend it on pot. <laughs> Not the smoking stuff, but another way of getting it.
because there's so much to do with it. When you start learning about you, you're going to be like a kid. I can't build with it, I can fabrics with it, I can medicine with it, I can bake with it, I can build my house with it, I can make a car out of it. We're going to do an experiment later on. We're going to make the hardest known um, graphite. Is it a chemical? Is it a yeah, material? We're going to make some graphite material in this building with the equipment that's in this building. NASA, when they build it out of those hexos chemical stuff, have to build it in special laboratories, and when it comes out the other end, it costs about £10,000 per square feet. We're going to do a meter in there for things. It might work, it might not, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah? Because somebody sent me a recipe that knows what they're doing. So we put it in there, lad. Yeah, there we go. Alright, have I done before we minutes? <laughs> they want to do some more. Did yeah. Is there any more? Questions? If there are no questions, we continue on because we are a bit late today. We've got programs. Thank you. 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 Thank